Oh, I got one. Fish on, baby. Fish on, baby. First white bass of the day. It's a pretty good one. Let's go. There we go. There we go, guys. First white bass of the day. Pretty nice looking one. Caught him on a little salt and pepper tube. And that is going to be our first keeper. Let's get him on the stringer and see if we can catch some more. This fish is alive. Oh my goodness. He is hung up in fishing line. You make sure there's a hook anywhere. Oh man, you are hung up really bad. You have fishing line all over you. I don't even know if I can get that out. Hey, I just caught a fish in my hand. How about that? Didn't need no rod, no jig, nothing. But I honestly feel really bad for this fish. I'm gonna go show Cole, and then I'm probably gonna let him go. <laughs> Looks like Jay's got her first fish of the day. Yeah. Pretty nice one. I caught him with my hands. No, what do you mean? Didn't use no fishing rod, nothing. <laughs> Would you just, just scare my him? Hands. You scare him up on the bank or something? No, he was actually, he was like, well, I saw him in some sticks. I thought he was dead. Then I walked closer to him and he started splashing. Oh, was he stuck between two cypress knees or something? Like, what's he going on right here? He was stuck in some sticks that had fishing line. He had fishing line wrapped all around his body. Oh, wow. He was like really stuck. Oh, wow. That's crazy. I, I can tell he's been through some stuff right there. He's like notched in. I know. And there's no telling how long he was there either. He's a pretty good sized one. Yes. It's a plan. You going to keep that one or you going to throw him back? I think I'm going to throw him back. I feel kind of bad for him. Yeah. I mean, it's probably the noble thing to do since you didn't really catch him with a lure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, since you just kind of grabbed and snatched him up. Yeah. I mean, he was already having a bad day so you should probably just probably i'm gonna give him a one. second chance at life okay second chance to make some babies <laughs> all right send him back if he swims off yeah <laughs> surely uh, he's he seems pretty lively go, oh there go, buddy. Go, buddy, go, go, go. Go. go there he goes Woo. Woo. he's a little slow but he looks okay he might just need, he might just need to sit down by that root ball and gain some uh some consciousness if he turns up floating then uh you know, we'll pick him up and throw him on our stringer, but you did a good deed. Yeah, I think he's gonna be okay. He's gonna be all right. Yeah, there he goes. Look at him. He's already got a mate. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see that. There's like two right there. That was love at first sight. Look at that. Love at first sight. How about that? How about that? Now, there's like millions and millions of white bass out here, but none of them want to bite because they're just thinking about making babies. But we're gonna try to trick a few. Yeah. You gotta catch some more. We've only got that one. We need like five or six more. Okay, let's do it. All right, so you take a look right here or below this shoal right here. We got some big cypress trees and some cypress knees. And down here in the water, I am seeing a really interesting fish species that I was hoping to find today. And they are some big old suckers of some sort. Last year, we caught a whole bunch of them in this creek and um, hoping to catch a couple today because they fight like crazy whenever you hook them. And they, believe it or not, they will eat these little jigs. So I've got this little guy right here. And what you wanna do is you wanna drift it right in front of their face and just shake it. And then they either just suck it in or they like straight up attack it. At least that's what they did last year. And I think they only do it because they're like super aggressive right now because they're spawning. But um, you'll just see them just kind of posted up in these little current breaks behind rocks. Like I see some right there. I'm gonna try to catch him. Gotta get him to sit still. When they're moving, you can't do it. I mean, you literally have to like just shake it. It's like bed fishing for bass. You gotta shake it right in front of their face. Otherwise they will not do it. They're like, uh-uh. Oh, got him. God would. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh, he came off. No, he ate it. He sucked it in. And went right by his face and he went. Gosh. He sucked that thing in. Oh, there we go. Oh, he jumped. He jumped, he jumped, he jumped. I think he sucked it in. Did he eat it? Did he eat it? I can't tell. That's a big one. <laughs> oh no, he didn't eat it. Dang, it looked like he sucked it right in. Got him right on the side of the head. That's all right though, that thing is massive. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, it's such a cool looking fish. Come here. Whoa, -hoo -hoo -hoo. look at that thing. <laughs> oh man, the chubs or the suckers, not a chub. What? Look at that guys, there's my second fish catch of the day. I was hoping we would run into some of these today. Last year we caught some of these. I'm not familiar exactly what type of uh, sucker or red horse this actually is. I need to go back and look. But last year there were so many of them out here in the creek and these guys fight like crazy. And to our surprise, they will actually take a lure. Um, this one swiped at it. 
And unfortunately, I actually hooked him like right on the side of the head. I was trying to get him to eat it. They're like reaction feeders. You would think they would just like suck stuff off the bottom, but if you get these baits flashing by their face, they just they just obliterate them. But they are so weird looking, and they're so yeah. weird to the touch. They are absolutely the most easy fish to handle in the world. Like once you grab them, they're just like so grippy. <laughs> like I wish you could make like a rod grip out of their <laughs> their scales, their skin. So crazy, but you can see they have those little tubercles, those little barbs on the side of their head. They get those during the breeding season, and they are just loaded in this little shoal right here. There's a few white bass swimming here, but it's mainly dominated by these guys. So as soon as I saw them, I was like, I gotta try to get one. Last year, we were just like dangling these little flashy jigs in front of them, and they were just smoking them down. So I'm gonna send this one back, and I'm gonna see if I can catch another one. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little buddy. We'll see you later. Oh, there he goes. So graceful, so fast. He's a speedy guy. I'm trying to catch another one. There's a bunch of them right here. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Big sucker. Big sucker. Big sucker. He smashed it. Smashed it. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at the fight. Look at him go. He smashed it. Oh, is he stuck? No, he's still there. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Look at that. Look at that fish. Oh, it's the biggest one so far. And I told you guys that they will absolutely eat that jig. Look at that. That is in the mouth. <laughs> you wouldn't have thought that these suckers would eat these little jigs, but they absolutely do. Man, that is a good one. And there you go, guys. Finally got another sucker. That's the third one. I spend way too much time trying to catch these things. It's just so much fun. It's like a challenge. It's like I want to get that bait right in front of their face in the current and let them just suck it in. And you see that one right there. <laughs> Pretty sure he ate it. It's kind of right there in the corner of the mouth. Kind of questionable. It looks like it's hooked in there. Look at that. Ate oh, that yeah. little thing. And I think that's the biggest one I've caught so far. There's some in there that are like glowing bright red that I've been trying to catch, but they've been eluding me. But I think this is probably going to be the last sucker I try to catch for a little while. I think we're going to, you know, walk around so we can find some white bass that will actually eat our bait. There's, I mean, there's literally thousands of them right here, but they are not interested in it at all. And it's like the most frustrating thing. It's like when you go trout fishing and you can see all the trout swimming around and they just dodge everything. But anyways, nice sucker. At least we're catching something. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Mr. Sucker. We'll see you later. <laughs> See you there later, he goes. Sucker. <laughs> See you later, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> Jay's just mad because she ain't catching nothing, except with your bare hands. Yeah, I've only got one. Yeah, let's uh, let's that move. Didn't even count. Let's move around. See if we can find some more fish. I got one, I got one, I got one. I got one, that's a good one. He smoked, he smoked it. That's a big one. There was one chasing him too. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. Stay on there, stay on there. Oh my stay on there, we need you, we need you. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, it is. Oh, I put a little bit bigger grub on. Oh. I put like a three inch white grub on with no spinner or nothing on there. Threw it up in the fast current and he bit it as soon as it hit the water. That is awesome. Look at that. Beautiful striper. Hey, thanks striper. for catching me a fish. <laughs> I know, fine. We were just trying to catch a couple so we have something to eat, but it looks like we've at least got one for me, one for you now. I have a feeling you're gonna catch one really, really soon, yeah. but I think maybe you should put on one of these grubs because I just literally put that on and got bit like second cast. All right, let's do it. Nice. There's another one. Oh, another good one. No, they're going there in the fast stuff, JJ. That's a big one. Oh my gosh, look how hard he's fighting. Look how hard that fish is fighting. Oh, he's fired up. He about the same as the last one. Finally, we're on some fish. Oh, up here. Oh, wow. That's yes. A good one. There we go. There's my third white bass of the day. He bit a little three inch white grub. 
It's good to put that one on the stringer. Hopefully we'll get some figured out now. They're biting in the really, really fast water. We've been fishing kind of the slack water most of the day, and uh, it seems like the ones that are willing to eat are in the fast water. So, I'm gonna get this guy on the stringer and see if we can catch a couple more. He was fired up. Oh, I thought Whoa. he was bigger the way he was fighting. Oh. <laughs> nice fish. So it's hard to tell. Oh man, he is fighting. Oh, that's a good one. He is fighting so hard. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. He is around this tree. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. He is around this tree. Give me your fish. Oh, it's a big one. Yes, it is. It's a really nice one. That's the biggest one for sure. Holy smokes. Look at that thing. Oh, Whoa. that's a big one. Oh, God. Oh my gosh. Give Don't me. lose him. <laughs> Oh man. Darn it. Dang. Now I'm soaked. Oh well. Hey. Just catch <laughs> I tried another. to catch it. <laughs> yeah, just catch another one. <laughs> Darn, that was a good one. I know, he was massive. Shoot. Oh, there we go. Got Hooked up? Yep. Big one? Yeah, very oh good. Hold on to him, JJ. You got this. You got this. He looks big. Woo! Oh my gosh. gosh. You feel so heavy. What a fight. You, you got a striper or a white bass? Oh my gosh. Or a flathead. <laughs> he really doesn't even look that big. Oh, you hooked oh. him in the head. What is that? It's a white bass. Is it? Yep. Oh, it's a big one though. Oh gosh. Hey, we'll take it. Oh gosh. I'm around this cypher thing. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Well, that wasn't exactly how I wanted to hook him, but I'll take it. I finally landed a fish. Yeah, that's a nice one. And if you look right there, that's probably why he didn't eat it. He's like blind in that eye. Poor guy. That is an old looking white bass, but he looks good and healthy still. And um, he'll look good on the stringer too. Yeah. That's for dang sure. <laughs> he'll look good on my dinner plate. <laughs> Definitely a good way to rebound after losing that big one. Yes, I'm but still so upset about that. I'm just feeling good that we're actually catching some white bass. Now we've been out here about two hours, yeah. not really catching anything except for a couple of suckers, but now we might have them figured out just a little bit. They're only biting in the fastest water. So that's what we're gonna target from here on out. Heck yeah. Nice one, Jay. <laughs> Okay, well it seems as though we caught all the fish we we're going to catch out of this creek today. We fished for a long time after thinking we had it figured out to find out that we didn't have anything figured out at all. <laughs> but luckily we did catch four really nice keepers. Look at that, got them on the stringer right there. And um, those will be some really good eating. So we are going to continue walking up this trail. It's about a mile walk back to the car. We're gonna head back to the house and get them cleaned up. So we will see you guys when we get there. <laughs> Hey guys. Say hi. Say hi, Sai. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? You say, who am I saying hi to? <laughs> it's the viewers. They've been wondering where you've been. They haven't seen you in a while. Y'all both have wet hair. Look at y'all. Yeah, we just got all cleaned up. Looking all slick and fresh. But you know what else looks awesome and fresh? <coughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <coughs> Thank yeah, you. There it is. Bless you. All over today's lunch. <laughs> <laughs> we got a plate right there of some fish taco rice. So it's basically a fish taco just on a bed of rice. We have our um, taco seasoned white bass. We have some hot sauce, some green sauce, and some brown rice. The only thing it's missing, unfortunately, is some avocado, but that's because we have a little avocado bandit in here. Look at him. He Cypress eats <laughs> all the avocado. His little tongue. Do you, do you smell it? It smells delicious. It smells delicious. Yeah, he eats all the avocados, so we rarely get to eat them anymore. But Jay is going to do us the honors of the official taste test. Here we go. I cooked up your blind fish. Mm. <laughs> 
Oh man. How's your blind fish taste? He's good. He's good? Oh yeah. I wish we could have caught some more, but oh. we did all we could and uh, I feel like we had plenty for a nice lunch. We had some leftovers too. Ah. Which good. Yeah. Cypress, so, it might be a little too spicy for you. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be too spicy. He's like, where's my bite? Where's my bite? <gasps> We mm. promise we will get Cypress eating some fish on the channel really soon, but for now, we're going to sit back and enjoy that plate of food right there. That is so good, Cole. All right, guys, I got my eyes on my first big mud bug. He went under this rock. Oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. I think I got him. Woo, there we go. Ow, he's pinching me. There we go. First crawfish of the adventure today. You got one, Jay? I got one. Pull him out. Oh. Woo, there we go. A couple of nice little mud bugs. Nice, they're so pretty. That'll get the party started. We have a bucket over here with water. Let's go put these guys in the bucket and let's get back after some more. All right, so what we're going to do out here in the creek today, is a bunch of large flat rocks. So we're going to flip them over and see if there's any crawfish underneath them. We have one right here. And if we see one, we're just going to try to grab it. <laughs> oh, I see one right there oh, on the outside one. edge. Yeah. You see him? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Too slow. I'm too slow. Got to be quicker than that. Oh, there's one. You see one? Yeah, he just came out from under the rock. Oh, there's a huge one. That's the size we're after right there. Oh gosh. That's a big one. Oh yeah. Don't get away. Okay, he's underneath this rock. Hey, I got him. I got him. Good. <laughs> nice. There you had to go. work for that one. There we go. Not a bad crawfish. I think it's our third one of the day so far already. Let's throw them in the bucket. Let's keep finding them. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta get him. Yeah, that was lucky. <laughs> I just saw him kick up, threw the net down there, and boom, we got ourselves another meaty crawfish. Look at that, he's got some big old pinchers on him. That was pretty lucky. Can you get him? I got him. I got him. Oh. Woo! Look at oh, that. Gosh. Look at that. That's nice teamwork. One. <laughs> Jake looked over the rock. I saw his head sticking out. And uh, I got us another big old fat one. That is awesome. Come on, don't miss. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. He got me. Oh, he's pinching me. Oh, he's pinching me. He's big. Oh, I thought I missed. Oh, he's got me. Oh, no. What? Look at that one. I thought I missed. And then he pinched me. I was like, oh, I didn't miss. <laughs> Nice. Jay went over to get the bucket. And I was like, oh, I see a monster. <laughs> there he is. I've got three in my hands. That's a good one. Look at the yeah. pinchers on that one. Hey! Uh, <laughs> Cheers for that. Man, ow, that hurt. I told you, it hurt. Woo! You kind of laughed like you thought I was kidding. There's one, two, and three. It definitely seems like the better quality size crawfish are over here, Jay. Yeah, I think we should stick to this side. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> bit deeper, a little bit bigger rocks. We want the meaty ones. Yes. And these aren't the these aren't the big like Louisiana red mud bugs you catch out of the ditches. These are right. these are stream crawfish. They don't get quite as big, but they're definitely big enough to eat. Yeah, they are. Okay, we got a big one right here. I'm gonna try to dip net him. He's red color. Woo! Wow. Easy, Look easy. I just made the comment we're not catching the Louisiana red crawfish. Oh, there's a big one right here. Which we're not, oh, really? They are all over the place right here. Look at that. He's got some red to him. Big oh, old meaty nice. tail. That's a really good one. That is a nice one. You see someone right here? Yeah, he's right there. <gasps> I'm gonna stick the camera down. 
Look at this, guys. Oh. We got one here sitting on some grass. And in the net. Yeah! That was too easy. He was just sitting up on the grass out of the rocks. <laughs> that was way too easy. That's a big one. Let him pinch your nose. Uh, no thanks. Do it for the views. No thanks. Do it for the views. Oh my gosh, cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> oh, she'll do it for the views later. <laughs> You got him? I got him. That's a big one. Nice. I didn't know if he went in the net or not. <laughs> he was so big, there was no way he was not going to make it in the net. Look at the pinchers on that dude. Those We're... are some huge claws. You can almost eat the claws on that guy. <laughs> we're doing the spook and scoop method. Yep. You're flipping over the rocks, <laughs> letting them scoot out, and then we're dip netting them. That's been the easiest way to get them so far. These guys are like almost too fast to grab with our bare hands. I know what you guys are thinking. We need crawfish traps, and yes, we do agree, but we just didn't have time to set traps out and come back here the next day we're like we're like an hour and a half two hours away from home yeah. so that's just not really possible for us but maybe sometime we can do that yep nice one i'm gonna put him in the bucket let's do it yeah oh oh <laughs> Yeah, you grab Golly. Me, I'll grab you. Woo. These guys pinch hard. Dang. I went full bullfrog mode on that one. <laughs> Man, that guy pinched me so hard. Let's take him and put him in the bucket with his buddies. Ow, he's still pinching me. Get in there. Woo. Another nice looking rock right here. Nice and flat. And there's a little guy. You can see him right there. Just a little guy. <laughs> it's always the little ones that are easy to catch. Whoop. Let's see you later, buddy. Get back in there and get big. Whoa! Yeah! That is a big old joker right there. Oh, look at the paws on that one. Dang. That is a nice one. <laughs> he wants to pinch my nose off. I think I got him. Yeah! Got him? Got him. Woo! Had to chase him down a little bit. That's nice. another one. I don't know how many do we have now. I have no idea. We have at least twenty or thirty. Yeah. We're doing pretty good. No like nice this one. one. Oh, yep. Two they like twins. <laughs> <laughs> you got him? Got him. Yeah. Woo! Let's see that big boy. That's a good one. That was a good scoop right there. Oh, oh he's let go in the net. He said, heck no, I ain't letting go of that <laughs> net. That's a big one. Oh. Nice. You're on fire now. <laughs> Big old crawl daddy. Yeah. Get one? I only one. got one. I only got one. Hey. There's three. One's better than none. I guess so. We got ourselves a handful here. Look at this. I can't see. Here, can you grab that one? So we got one, two, and three Woo! nice crawfish to round out the crawfishing <laughs> mission. Crawfishing mission. I like that. I like it too. Let's take these guys down the bucket. Let's see how many we got in there. All right, we've been at the creek for a while now. We've caught a bunch of crawfish, so let's show you guys our catch. I'm going to go in for a big scoop. Woo! Look at all them mud bugs. That is a That's nice That's not haul. even all of them, though. Ow, oh, they're pinching me. Oh, shoot. We think we had like 30 or 40? Yeah. That's a good haul. Yeah. And there's literally Woo. thousands and thousands of crawfish out here in this creek. Yes. Like literally every stone. Like you see this right here. This is what the stream bed looks like. Every one of these rocks has got multiple crawfish under it of all different sizes. So we're definitely not deplenishing the resource here. Yeah. And we're just in a very small part of the creek. Like we've been in this one little zone right here. <laughs> and it's just, it's crazy how many Woo. crawfish are in here. But I guess because there's no fish to eat them. I guess so. <laughs> there's, yeah, we have not seen any fish here. That's hey. crazy. So you got to have at least one predator here, which will be... Us. Us. Today, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are going to boil up really nicely. We're going to pair them up with some uh, some potatoes and corn and a big old bowl of crawfish boil. And it's going to be epic. So let's get on out of here. Let's take our crawfish home and let's get to cooking them.
All right, guys, we're back. It is the next day and we are just about ready to cook up some of our crawfish that we caught yesterday out in the creek. Um, I say some because, well, we had a few casualties last night, unfortunately. I put these guys in a big container of water. I had an aerator going. I was trying to purge them, get them all cleaned out. Um, but unfortunately, we lost about 10 or 15 crawfish, which kind of sucks because I was looking forward to eating them. But no worries, I'm gonna turn those guys into some really good catfish bait. And we still have a good mess of crawfish here in the bowl. And as you can see, they're, they're trying to escape. Uh, we have a big pot of water going in the kitchen. It's fully seasoned up with a bunch of good crawfish seasonings and spices, and it's probably boiling by now. So all we have to do is we take these guys inside, throw them in the boiling water, get them cooked up, and they will be ready to eat. And I have a good feeling that these guys are gonna be extra delicious. So let's take these guys inside, let's get them cooked up. All right guys, the deed has been done. Let's take a look at these crawdads and see how they turned out. Ooh, look at those guys. We've got them soaking in that nice crawfish juice in there, trying to get them super seasoned up, super spicy. Those look amazing. And we'll probably let them sit there for maybe another five minutes or so, but then we'll be ready to plate and give them a try. Take that in, fellas. We have ourselves a nice plate of some fully cooked and spicy and delicious, hopefully, crawfish that we caught yesterday in the creek. They look so good. I'm so excited to try them. I know. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie, guys. I wish we had a few more, and I wish these yeah. were that larger variety size. We definitely need to go out and chase the larger sized mud bugs, but I mean, for what we did, we did pretty good, and I know it's going to be delicious. And I, you know, I said we were going to do like the corn potato thing, but I looked in the freezer, didn't have any corn. Didn't have any. <laughs> didn't have any potatoes. <laughs> So kind of blew it on that one, but it's okay. We're just gonna give this a taste. We're gonna see, if, I mean, the crawfish are at the start of the show anyway. So let's taste these crawfish. Let's see how well we did. And let's see if this fires us up to go out and catch some more crawfish. Yes. So I you bet want, it will. Jason go right in for old Megalodon there. I think she caught that one. I think it was the last one you caught, wasn't it? I don't know, probably. You just about got that guy? Almost got him. Not the easiest peeling crawfish. These little ones aren't as easy to peel as the big ones, but got just a little piece of meat. All right. Going in. Here we go. Moment of truth. What you think about it? Oh, that's so good. You like that? Mm-hmm. It's so, you know, it sucks that it's not much of a crawfish, but they are always delicious. Oh, man. That's dang good. Mm. We're going to have to go back and get some more for sure. I can already tell you that. Yeah, we're going to have to go for the big ones. There's a yeah. few spots near to us where we might can catch some right now, but it's just really not, you know, prime crawfishing season, I wouldn't say. Unless you're going in the creeks and getting these little guys. <laughs> These are going for another one. Yeah, this is delicious. There we go, fish on. That feels like a good one, Jay. It is a good one. Oh Golly. Right up next to that piling. Don't want to lose that one. Wow. Yes, look at that. All right. All right, check that out. That is a really nice fish for this spot. Normally we come down here and catch just like unders, you know, under the legal limit size, but that's going to be a good keeper. That's like probably 11 inches right there. That is a solid black crappie right up underneath this bridge, fishing this shade line. Uh, we've been out here for about 10 minutes and that was the first bite we've had, but uh, hopefully we can catch a couple more to add to the bucket so we can cook them up here in a little bit. But that is a solid start. That's crazy. Got cars driving over this bridge. They don't even know there's good slabs underneath it. <laughs> yeah, let's get him in this bucket. We gotta get some water in here. There you go, first slab. Mm. We gotta get another bucket. We're still using that one we found out in the lake. <laughs> okay, so I actually wanna try something really quick. So I wasn't using this just now with that last fish, but I've got these little crappie magnet little slab bites. I don't know if these things actually work or not, but I don't think they can hurt. Let me smell them real quick. They smell pretty smelly. If anything, get something for these fish to see and key in on. And we'll just see. We'll put this on and see if we start getting more bites. Just stick it on there on the end of the hook. Kind of blends in with the chartreuse tails. There's one. That's a good one too. That's another big one, Jay. 
Another big one. Another really good one. Oh my gosh. What is up with this place today? Get up here. Oh my gosh, what a slab. Look at that. And I had a little I had a little uh snap I had a little uh those little cropping bites on there, but it's not on there anymore. Oh, would you get a bite? Oh, you look like you're about to catch one. <laughs> Heck yeah, we moved away from the bridge, got here in the middle of the creek. And that is a stud. He's bigger than the last one, I think. Okay, so there's that fish I just caught. Really, really nice fish. Here's the one I first caught. He's definitely bigger. Yeah, he is. And those are two of the nicest crop I've caught down here in a long time. I'm not even kidding. Like, we're used to just catching dinks down at this spot. We were just trying to, just to see if there was any down here. And we're not really getting bites. I mean, we've only got these two bites. Uh, but they've been good fish. So, I mean, I'll take the quality over quantity if the quality is here. <laughs> okay, let's send him back into the bucket. That's a nice pair of fish. Yeah, it is. If nothing else, we got four sloppy patties out of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I have a feeling we're gonna catch a couple more. This north wind is chilly in the shade. Yeah. I need a light jacket. Is it under? Oh, it's under. Yeah. That's another big one. Oh, yeah. That's another big one. Go, JJ. Oh, don't lose him. That's another keeper. <laughs> Get up here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I couldn't tell if your bobber was under or not. It was just suspended right below the surface. Not as big as yours, but it's a keeper. It's that's, a good one. That's a good one. She's got that kind of like sparkly confetti color on top of that bright stretcher's tail. And the water's kind of dingy. Yeah. It was like nice dingy underneath the bridge. It's I actually cool. just switched to this color too. Yeah, and it's like second or third cast yeah. with it. It's a good one. That's exciting. <laughs> All right, three slabs in the bucket. Let's get some more. There's one. Oh, it's a tiny one. Tiny little fish. Well, that's what I'm more used to catching out here. <laughs> tiny little baby, four inch crappie. I saw my little, uh, my little crappie nibble go flying. That's not exactly what we're after today, but it's just, it's nice to catch something, you know? I'd rather catch a fish like that than not catch a fish at all. Let's get back out there. I got one, I got one, I got one. I took the bobber off and I got one. Yes, yes. Whew. How long has that been? An hour and a half? Like an hour and a half. Oh my gosh. I'm oh, about to leave. just about to leave. We were ready to go. We done fished over on that side of the bridge. We fished up that way in the woods. We fished that way in the woods. And we came back here, one last chance. We got ourselves another keeper. That's four good slabs. That's crazy. Just kind of changed up the presentation. I thought it was snagged. I couldn't even feel it. The wind was blowing so hard. I just took the bobber off and was just reeling this little crappy magnet real slow, kind of through the water column. And like I said, I didn't feel the bite. I'm not gonna lie. I did not feel the bite. <laughs> I just felt some weight and it was a good one. We're gonna try to replicate that before we head out of here. Gotta at least give it a couple more casts to make sure it's not just a fluke. Well, Jay, I definitely, whoa. whoa. I think that that last fish catch was definitely a fluke. Yeah, cause we kept trying and nothing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing's really happened at all out here. Like all those no. bites are pretty spread out and they definitely aren't grouped up in here just yet. But we did get some good quality fish. We got yeah. five total, four keepers, one little tiny little dinky guy. Look up those guys out so we can see them. Look at that guy. That one's nice. That's a slab. Is that the biggest one? I think it is the biggest Might one. Might be the biggest one. And then... We got, oh yeah, another nice good keeper. Yeah. Here, I'll help you out. Oh, thanks. Up you out. There you go. There we go. Look at there. A couple of nice, big old slab black crappie. No white crappie in here today. We normally just catch black crappie in yeah. here, which I think is honestly kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I don't care. They all taste the same. And those I'm just surprised, like, we got this size today. I know. Like, Are you in? Yeah, if you've watched any of our videos in the past and fishing this spot, you'll look and see that we do not catch good slabs here ever. No. It's always small fish. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm definitely pleased with that. Yeah. And I'm definitely excited about what's fixing to happen with those boys. We are about to Ooh. head to the house and we're going to cook them up because we're hungry. Oh, Craigie yeah. Jay's hungry. So hungry. Oh, <laughs> 
I definitely think that we did pretty well in this spot, especially since like the odds really weren't in our favor to do very good out here today. <laughs> we got four good slabs. Let's head back to the house. Let's get them cleaned up and let's cook them up. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Well, aren't those the most delicious looking little morsels you've ever seen? <laughs> Look at that. That's as fresh as it gets. Just caught off the creek maybe an hour ago. Got them all cleaned up. Just That's going to just flake up so nicely. And we ain't messing around today, guys. We are making some fish tacos. So we're going to be cooking this fish. We got some hard crunchy shells that are already in the oven. I've got this skillet already heated up. Whoa, it's kind of getting really hot. Hold on a second. Well, pay attention. Ooh. Oh gosh. Oh, cool. Got a little hot. We're all right. I didn't realize. I, I thought I turned it off, but I accidentally turned it on high. We'll be okay. Let that kind of cool down just a little bit. Or we'll just throw our fish right on there. What do you think? Probably just throw our fish on there. Yeah, I guess so. Might as well. It's already heated up. Anyways, you get the point. We're making fish tacos today. We're just going to slap these guys on there. Get them sizzling. We're going to throw all eight fillets in there. They should all fit. Ooh, I love that sizzle. Do we have room for one more? Man, that was perfect. I'm glad we got that last fish. That last fish was clutch. Feel that sizzle? Yeah. That's perfect. Okay, so those shouldn't take very long at all. Probably like less than five minutes to get them all cooked up. And we're just gonna season them up, which is some straight up taco seasoning. I feel like that's just not maybe not the best way, but it's a really really delicious way mm -hmm. to make some quick and dirty fish tacos. Um, if you pan over here, Jay actually ran to town and grabbed some cheese white dip. cheese dip, some salsa to go with it. So, like I said, we were not messing around. Um, <laughs> we were really hungry. But anyways, guys, I gotta pay attention to these fish in this skillet. I don't want to mess them up, and uh, we'll get back with you once we're ready to put the tacos all together. All right, Jay, are you pumped about these crappie tacos? I am so pumped. I am so hungry. They look so good. So there's the final product. We've got our crunchy tortilla shells. We've got our white crappie. We've got some tomato, some avocado. She's got some special sauces in there. And uh, we know it's gonna be good, but go ahead and do the official taste test. Gotta do the official taste test. We got the little small shells, so mm. it's not, you know, a big mess. Mm -hmm. Good, real good. Very, very good. Does it feel like it's still swimming a little bit? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to be swimming in my tummy. Mm. Is it everything that a Prager J could ever want? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is so good. I know you've been craving some fish, which is good. Fish mm -hmm. is super good for you when you're pregnant, mm -hmm. right? And uh, that just looks delicious. And I'm ready to get me some of that. I know. I could just devour all of this, like, right now. Well, good thing we made, like, ten tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, come back. Yes. Yes. There we go. On the board. First slab of the day. He's not really a slab, though. I don't think he's going to keep. He's not a 10 incher. I think he's like a nine and a half or, but hey, on the board. There's at least one crappie in here. Another one more. Should be, in theory. I may get up here and catch you one, Jay. See you. There's a five pounder back here. Wants to eat it. Oh, there he is. There he is. He, he's not the five pounder that I thought was living back here. But it's our second fish, a little large mouth. We decided to uh, pick up the bass rods for a second just because it looked way too bassy back here not to. And I caught him on a little quarter ounce buzz bait, a little three inch, or it's a 3.5 inch, uh, six inch whale on the back of there. Been really loving that buzz bait trailer combo. And we got ourselves a little green boy. And he's pretty cold, honestly. You gonna touch him? <laughs> well, he is cold. It's cold. Water temperature on the graph says it's 58 degrees. We found some water running in from this creek back here. And we kind of had the idea that maybe all the fish 
that we weren't catching back behind us may be up here <laughs> in this running water. So that's why we're up here experimenting. But if we don't catch anything, if we don't get on something quick back here, we're gonna, I think, make our way back out towards the main lake. Got one? Got a rock? Oh, I have one. I have one. I actually have one. What do you have? You're reeling it in, whatever it is. This thing, you got a turtle? This fish hit as soon as it hit the water. Or Big stick. Oh. oh, a stick fish. Me. Well, I, I got to live and breathe in one right here. Another little bass. He bit literally as soon as it hit the water. And we're getting up close to where this water's dumping in to the lake right up here. There could be a big one. Who knows? Uh oh, there it is. That ain't no stick. Oh. That ain't no stick. Another there little baby go. guy. Maybe we should we should throw these little boys in the live well. <laughs> yeah. Need some tasty little treats. Oh, oh you might want to lift that guy. He he's about to jack you up. Gonna... <gasps> oh God. Yep. Yep. I don't like where he's hooked. Here okay, you go. There you you go. take one for the team. Yeah, I got him. I just felt like something bad was fixing to happen. I don't know why. <laughs> Always looking out for me. There you go. Whew. Here's your fish. I don't want him. <laughs> he's a feisty little dude. He's so tiny. <laughs> All right, you're on the board. That's our fourth fish of the day. My first. Your first. We've got three bass and a crappie so far. A little mixed bag going on. Yeah. We need a big one. Yeah. As far as like blue back here, coming out of the mountains right here. It's awesome. Got him. He committed that time. They're all just these smaller dudes, but I'm okay with it. It's a spot. Looks like it. It's a spot. Ooh, he's so pretty. Hey. I don't catch hardly any spots in this lake. That's exciting. Now, unlike the spotted bass we were catching in Tennessee in that little series with Alex, those were mostly um, Alabama spotted bass, which are mostly invasive to Tennessee, especially to the water fish. And this is a Kentucky spotted bass, a, uh, a pure, just beautiful little native fish. Now, I'm liking this little this little runoff. <laughs> I think we kind of maybe, maybe if we caught some more fish here and gave it a break, they'd probably reload. And surely at some point there's gonna be a big one. I've been here, I don't know why there wouldn't be. There's all sorts of bait fish. And it just looks, I mean, it's just beautiful. What a gorgeous spot. So I know that we said in the intro we we're gonna be targeting some slabs out here today and we still are but when we heard this rushing water up here we definitely had to uh, come up here and check it out and try to catch a couple bass which we did and we're actually about to move back out towards the mouth of this creek and try to find some crappie but before we do and while we're on the topic of bass I've got something here that I want to show y'all I show you this every month it's that time of the month where I show y'all some cool tackle from six Sense fishing this is the monthly subscription super six pack that we get delivered to our house each and every month and uh, we're going to unbox it and see what we got maybe we might find something here we can use while we're out here fishing today so let's go on ahead pull out the first item we've got ourselves a pack of flushes this is a soft plastic jerk bait in watermelon red that is a fantastic bait caught a lot of fish on the flush next we've got an awesome 100x or 100s square bill crankbait in the color red what color is this crimson craw red is a really great crankbait color this time of year and moving on into winter into early spring so that's definitely gonna be a player for us over the next few months don't know if we'll throw it today or not but we probably could catch something with it next we've got some more red i really love this crankbait too this is the swank 66x it has that cool little l-shaped bill I'm not sure if you can see it or not but that lets the bait run more horizontal instead of kind of downward and it makes this bait really great to throw around um, submerged vegetation it goes right over the top of it really really well that's a great bait next up we've got pack of hooks those are five aughts those will pair up nicely with the flushes got a few more things in here I'm trying to go through this quick so we can get back to fishing got the thud 70 this is an amazing lipless crankbait you see us throw lipless crankbaits all the time and it's either the thud or this this quake thud or it's the uh the snatch so you really can't go wrong with any six cents lipless crankbait and that is an awesome color it's called black backwater bluegill that looks great to be great in like water this color we might throw that i have seen some little bluegill moving around out here got two more baits pull this one out Ooh, that little dude that little dude jay 
would probably smash a fish up here in this little this little runoff. It's really shallow. This bay only runs down um, like two to three feet. This is the Crush Mini 25. Oh, it's the MD. I take that back. This is the medium diamond crank. This one here goes down about 60. I thought it was a little square build, but anyways, a great little small little bait fish profile and a crank bait. We get these nearly in almost every sack, and these guys, they just catch a ton of fish for us. Got one more bait. Another crank bait. Really loving the value in this thing this month, and oh my gosh, look at this. This is the special one. So every month in the 6 and Super 6 say you get something that's exclusive to the sack, and I believe this is it. Yeah, on the back it says exclusive color. This is the brand new, just like just released last month, the Flat Finesse F4 crankbait. It's a flat side, so the bait's gonna have a tight wiggle. It's gonna be great when the water starts to cool down like it has now. But look at that color. It's like a chartreuse on the side with a light purple top and just like those really cool, just like purple tiger stripe patterns. I don't know how to describe it, but that thing looks awesome. That is crazy. And like I said, you can only get this color out of the Super 6 sack, and that's like an advantage, um, you know, if you were to sign up for it, you get these baits that, you know, maybe somebody else, that nobody else is gonna have. So, that's awesome. I think it's probably my favorite bait in the sack. This is probably probably gonna be the one I tie on if I tie on any of these today, just because it just, it's just beautiful. And I know it's gonna catch some fish. But anyways, guys, just wanted to show you guys everything that we got in this month's Super 6 sack real quick while we're out here and on the boat. And before the month is over, um, if you'd like to pick one up and get this exclusive color, I think you can go on the website right now. You can just order them straight off there. Um, and you can do a one-time purchase and you can use our code CJSUPER6 at checkout and you can get your first bag for $10 off. So it's a great deal. I think if you use the code, it's like all that for 27 bucks and you get like $60 in value. So I don't know why you wouldn't do that, but with that being said, we're going to start making our way back this way, maybe do some more bass fishing, but hopefully try to find some big slabs. You got one? You got one? I got one. Oh, it's a slab. There we go. Uh, not technically a slab. Not technically. He looked big when he was going, but you <laughs> snuck behind me and started picking up that crappie stick yeah. and got you one. Thank there we go. You. That's awesome. Maybe there's more right there. We're about to find out. Yes, we are. <laughs> if you have anything to say about it, send him back. Barely over the edge. <laughs> nice. What do you eat? What do you eat? A little grub? Oh. I think he ate the grub. I didn't even look on it. I think it. he was on the bottom. Bottom had a grub on it. Another one? Another one. Another one? That's a bluegill. Oh. That's a big old bluegill. Oh, wow. Man, he ate the grub too. <laughs> oh. oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Now we're really getting some multi species stuff going on in here today. Yo. It's purple. That's a thing. He's like purple and gold. He's cold. Wow. Man, I took that a mess was next of those. Cast. <laughs> oh, I want some crickets now. <laughs> nice yeah, that's one. a nice one. If we get on a mess of those, I'll fill that live well up. Not even playing, but I need to see what happens out there first. All right, Jay, I bet you $12 I get bit on this cast. $12. Oh, he already had it. Dang it. I blew it. You're about to win $12, I think. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. You got him? Oh, you got bit. You you just won yourself $12. Oh, pay up, buddy. <laughs> Did I say I was going to catch him or get bit? I, think uh, I, said, I actually think you said get bit. <laughs> how about this cast right here? You got one? Doubles. We did it. Daily doubles. All right. So the reason I'm saying that and the reason why we have this daily doubles is because there's a brush pile right in front of us. And it looks like there's about a thousand of these fish. And they're all probably the same size. They're all probably eight inches. But you never know. But it's nice to get some more fish. You know, it's been yes. not really slow, but just kind of slow. And it's taking some minutes to kind of figure out this place. But I think we found out where they're hiding at. And it's like 10 feet to the left of the boat. <laughs> let's send these back. Fish bump. Fish bump. And let's see if we can get <laughs> like, a, like a 14 incher. Got him. That feels hefty. It's hefty. Oh, it's a hefty boy. That might be a keeper. We might have just got ourselves our first keeper. Okay, moment of truth. What's it going to be? Let's close that lip. 10 inch boy. Look at there. We got a keeper. We did it. There's at least one keeper in there. And that gives me hope there could be some more. It took us a while, but we finally got our first keeper. Hoping to get just a few we can take home for dinner tonight. Let's turn that on, get some water going. He came up and got it's a begging. Mm. That's a begging. Really? Yeah, that's a bass. Oh, it's, it's a boss. It's a boss. Yeet. I caught a bass. And you know what? He's going in the cooler. Oh my goodness. He's going in. I'm not, I mean, I feel confident we're gonna catch them, but we've already caught so many fish and hit many keepers. And we talked about keeping some of these guys. So that's a perfect size eating largemouth. Let's throw him in there. And of course, if we decide we don't want him, we can always throw him back. 
Right here's a good shot of what we're looking at. You got our big bush, and you see all those like kind of just blobs, a little round, kind of oval. Those are all the fish. They're all just sitting there. They're just chilling. It's like classic crappie in a brush pile. <laughs> oh, we just almost saw one eat my jig on the screen. You got one? We got one. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that might be your biggest one you caught so far. I think so. He's got some color to him. I don't know if he's gonna be big enough though. Yeah, I thought you were stuck in the brush pile, and then all of a sudden you got a fish. Oh yeah, I got it. I got out. <laughs> the next cast, I got him. Work that magic. He's almost a keeper. That's a keeper in some places, but not here. It's pretty. Look at the spots. Look at yeah, the spots. He's beautiful. Pretty fish. He's like a nine incher probably. <laughs> too short. You're too short. You're not short. You're like an Amazon woman, honestly. I actually just lost my jig, so I just changed it up a little bit. I'm actually going to throw this little guy here. It's got a little blade on it. You know, there's a lot of fish in this thing, but they're acting a little bit finicky. I don't know if that little extra shine might fire them up. This jig's a little bit smaller, too, overall. And I think the jig head's a little bit lighter. Just give him another look. Gotcha. It worked. It worked. Nice. It didn't work on a big slide, but at least it worked. That's all you can ask for. Peace, love, and happiness to you, my friend. Oh, that's a nice one, I think. He hit it hard. Oh, he's, I don't know. I don't know. Dang, he's not gonna do it. I don't think, I'm gonna measure him. But I know he's not. Unless he's got some weird, unless I just can't judge a fish. <laughs> that's not a tanger, is it? I don't think so. I think he's just like eight and a half. He's nine. You got one? Doubles, oh, that's a keeper. Oh gosh, flip him up in here. Oh gosh, can you? Ah, ha, ha. Yeah! That's what a keeper looks like. Man, daily doubles. And you got you got another species there. I don't know if we caught any white crappie yet today. Here we go. There we go. White crappie, <laughs> white crappie. They probably honestly weigh about the same, but that white crappie's gonna be longer. Heck yeah, Jay. You can gobble, let me see that. You look down in there. Oh gosh. That's how you yeah, like to see it. it. That's a nice, yeah, no doubt, 10 incher. <laughs> yep, you got, we got two crappie and a bass now. <laughs> Oh, under the boat, under the boat. Oh, I got me a white crappie. Mm -hmm. He might do it. Yeah, he might. He's a little skinny. He's a long slender guy. Oh, oh, we got one. oh you got one. Oh, oh. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you pulled him up out of that maze of trees. I didn't even feel a bite that time. Look at that. Hey, mine's bigger this time. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I don't know, this one might not be 10. Yours is definitely not. And mine is nine and a half. Oh gosh, solid nine and a halfer. Yes, feels girthy. I think oh, I did it. Yeah. Yes. Heck yeah. Woo -hoo. Look at us now. Look at us. We just had to, usually you catch the big ones first and the smaller ones second. That's a good keeper. Look at us go. I put the little blade guy on there, a little straight tail. And uh, doing some work. Beautiful little black crappie going in. I'm not even, You're not even. These, these fish, I'm not even feeling them bite. Oh, oh, gosh. oh, oh off the screen. He's gonna have a headache. Yeah. Stay in the boat, Bobby. Again, another one you can keep in a lot of places, but just not here. He's good. He's good. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna be good, but. And if he's not good, a, a bass or catfish will eat him. I think he's fine though. He kicked off. Yeah. My bait's far away from. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Hey Jay. Yeah. I think I got another keeper. Yeah. Is that a crappie? Yeah. It is a crappie. He's finding like a white bass. Another one that's gonna measure ten, I think. We caught. How many did we catch before we caught a keeper? Like ten. 
I think so. And now like the last. Oh, one. Yeah, baby. That's a Aww. tiny one. Look at him, he looks like a shad. And that one actually felt the bite. It felt like <laughs> a big bite. It's crazy how that works out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, another tenner. And another little pipsqueak guy. Little fish tank fish. <laughs> we should make a big pool pond and put some crappie in it. Ooh, that'd be cool. Wouldn't that be cool? I don't know where we put it at. I guess we have a swimming pool. <laughs> I guess we our pool still I guess we could fill it up with some lake water or something. Put some crappie in it. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm, you're serious, aren't you? It's like every cast now. Dang, they just turned on. Yeah. You know, when we put, when we put that buoy marker out there, we might have spooked them a little bit and they might just now be getting like re readjusted. Yeah. There was a bunch of fish down there. That buoy marker helps us out. So the reason we're using a buoy marker, so obviously, you know, we have live sonar here in front of us and we can see the brush pile pretty well, but it's kind of hard to keep up with what we're doing. We're both up here doing the jig rods. So just putting that buoy marker out there and giving us stuff like a visual mark, just knowing that our bait's kind of in the right area is what helps us out a lot. Oh gosh, that's a fish. Oh, it might be a keeper. I didn't feel the bite. I got some of that action. I felt pretty much every bite that I've had today, except for that one. Oh, did you get bit? I think so. He's kind of a long black crappie. I don't know. I don't think he's 10. No. Nine and a half? Nine and like three quarters. Oh. Nine and three quarters. He would taste so good. Got him. That might be a keeper. Please be a keeper. He looks like he's got some slabs. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, no doubter. Let's go, baby. We love the no doubter. No doubter. No doubt. Black crappie. Anything you want to say That's about a that? Nice one. That's a nice one. That might be the. Is that no, the no, no. I don't think he's the biggest, but he's a good one. He's up there with the biggest. There's like one stick. Oh gosh. Oh. I'm not sure how that happened. There was a crappie had his face stuck in the in the lid. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why is the lock a lid open? I guess he. I don't know how that happened. <gasps> yes. Oh, he's swimming. That's a good one. Hold on to him, Jay. That's a good one. That looks like a. Oh, the snag master. <laughs> Darn it! I thought <laughs> I had a giant. <laughs> I did too. That thing bowed up. Look at that. What are you Aww. thinking, dude? You can't eat with your fin. Poor guy. He said, "Ah, oh, my back. <laughs> my back. My back. I need to go to the chiropractor." <laughs> Biggin? Biggin. Biggin. Keeper. Keeper. I think. Slab. <laughs> definitely. Oh, I had one too. Oh. Dang it. How'd you distract it? That's definitely a keeper. Big old slab. Hugging <laughs> these fish so good. I know, yeah. These rods don't check around. Like when they bought it and you land them with these ACCs, they just like, I mean, they just bury that hook in the top of their mouth. Right in the thick stuff. Dang. Oh. Look at that. Ooh, this look part at that. Is the barb is sticking through his lip. That's crazy. Yikes. I got one underneath the boat. Oh, that's that. cute. Isn't that cute? <laughs> there we go. Mine could eat yours. Yours could honestly probably eat mine. <laughs> probably not. Yeah. Good fish, though. <laughs> oh, I got one on the buzz bait. Yes. He just slurped it. Heck yeah. There we go. We decided to come back over here and check this out one more time before we left. See if a big one swam up in here. And it doesn't look like a big one's here. There could be. But the first one we've got here is this tiny guy. Much like the other ones, but still fun. Love to mix it up on him. Oh, that might be bigger. Yes, right there where that water's rushing down. That's the biggest bass of the day right there, I think, Jay. Looks like there was one chasing him. I can't get over how pretty this water is right here. I know y'all can't really tell on camera, but... That's a nice one. He's like a pound. A pound or so. Now here's the question, Jay. Do we add him to the live well with the other one we got? Ooh. Do we have two bass? One for me, one for you. We probably should. That sounds good, right? <laughs> yeah. He's just a perfect little bass. You want to put him in there? Oh, yeah. Now we can have some... Jay said we're going to have some bassy patties. <laughs> yeah. You know, instead of a slabby patty, we're going to have some bassy patties. Yeah, 
Yeah, change of pace. It sounds sounds good. Yeah. He's a nice one. Woohoo! Got two bass and like 10 crappie in there. Can't complain at all. I can barely, barely see it. Got him. Another one. Another one. They're loaded up in there. Jay, throw that bait up in there. That's another bass. Oh, yeah, right there. It's really shallow. Oh, yeah. No, oh, oh, she got the rock. No, party foul. No. Party foul. That one looks bigger than the last one. I know, it's a good bass. Okay, now we've got three bass. Oh, you're keeping it? In there? Three bass? Oh my gosh. Three bass and 10 crappie? You must be hungry. I'm feeling it. I feel like I ate those bass with Alex. Those spots, and I'm kind of craving some little largies. If I haven't checked out the video that I did with Alex catching those spots and catching and cooking them, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check out because it was a fun time. All right, well, I guess that we're gonna call it for the fishing out here today. We did pretty well. We went back to that brush pile um, that we call us fishing and they just kind of dispersed and they weren't having it anymore, but we, we did pretty well. We yeah. probably caught, what, like 25 or 30 crappie maybe? We um, got plenty to take home. Yeah, we got like 10 or 12 keepers and then we got those three nice little bass. We're gonna have a good time eating these boys <laughs> tonight. So we're going to um, make the run back to the boat ramp, get this thing trailered up. We're gonna head back to the house, get them cleaned up, you know the deal, and we're gonna cook them and it's gonna be delicious. Yeah. Jay's been craving some fish. Oh yeah. Preggy Jay loves eating fish. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's best, good for the baby. Yeah, that's the best part about Jay being pregnant is that she always wants to eat fish and that's, <laughs> That's great, because I always want to eat fish. But anyways, we're gonna get after it. We're gonna get back to the house. We'll see you guys when we get there. All right, we made it back here to the house, and now we've got our fish out here on the cleaning table. We're about to get them all cleaned up. So, actually, at the boat ramp, we released a few of the fish we got. So, let me show you guys what we're here, what we have here left to clean the room eating tonight. We had a few extra crappie that we really didn't need. So, we've got one, two, three, four slabs, and we got two bass. And uh, I think they're gonna be really, really tasty. Now, all these crappie were like, 10 to 10 and a half inches so not super slabs but they're gonna be perfect eating and then, and then these bass are like you know pound and a quarter so nothing really too huge nothing too crazy but that is a good mess for me and jay to enjoy tonight and uh, i think we are both really really looking forward to it but as you can probably tell it's getting kind of late out here i want to get these fish clean before dark and get to cooking them before it gets too late and uh yeah so let's get them cleaned up and we'll see you guys when we see you Here in the kitchen, gotta be kind of quiet because baby C has gone to bed early tonight. He's also been kind of fidgeting a little bit and we don't want him to wake up. So, we are here in the kitchen. We had an amazing time on the lake today. Caught some nice fish and now we get to enjoy the fruits of our labor here. We have one of our favorite little concoctions. This is what we call like fish taco rice, right? It's basically all the ingredients you have for a fish taco except for you lay it on a bed of Spanish rice. Well, actually, this is red beans and rice because they didn't have any Spanish rice at the store this afternoon, but it should be delicious. So, I mean, we just have our bass and crappie. You can kind of pull a piece out right there. We got the rice, we got some taco sauce, uh, avocados, and you can put whatever you want to on there. Jay has like some extra tomatoes. I mean, you can throw lettuce. They have green chilies. Yeah, she's got green chilies. And I mean, literally, you can let your imagination go wild whenever you're doing this, but this is kind of just the way we like it. Gonna go in for the official taste test. I wanna grab a piece of bass. I know this is bass because it's a little bit thicker. Got some sauce, got some avocado. Look mm -hmm. at that, it look tasty? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how it goes. Mm. A million times better than the Zaxby's we got for lunch on the way to the lake today. <laughs> Man, that is, that's fantastic. This is literally, I mean, we say, you know, all the different types of way we cook fish is our favorite, but this is really up there. It is so, so good. And you can do this with just about any species of fish that you like. You just want one that kind of flakes up good. You know, like bass, crappie, bluegill. Catfish isn't the best for this, but you could do it with catfish also. But anyways, guys, we are going to uh, take it easy and relax the rest of the night, especially since Hopper's went to bed early. That's 
really nice. He's been kind of going to bed a little bit later than normal recently. He's been yeah. kind of being a little wild child. He doesn't want to go to bed. He wants to stay up all night like us. But um, anyways, we're going to enjoy this while it's nice and hot. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with us on the lake today. We had a blast catching those fish. If you would like to see us go out and catch some more crappie soon, let us know in the comments section. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future bald and crazy fishing adventures. We're calling Jay, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.